in the holy period of Chaturmas, we have started a Swadhyaya series wherein we are studying the Yoga Sutras compiled by Maharshi Patanjali. And we are in week six of this series. Let us begin. Um, this week is contains some very strong, long length worded sutras. Therefore, I have, as you can see in Sutra 3, I have broken them down into the individual words which will make it easier for us to chant. Otherwise, it will be a little bit difficult, especially for those who are not familiar with Sanskrit and the system of Sandhi. So therefore, uh, in this week, we will be using, when we go to these Sutra 30, 31, and I believe 32 also, No, not 32. 30 and 31. Then we, instead of reading from the first line, please read from here. This line might be a little bit challenging for most. So use the second line. The second line is basically the same. I have just broken it down into the individual words for ease of chant. So let us begin. As always, we shall chant the verses two times, after which we shall have a look at the meaning of the first sutra of the week. Let us begin the chant. Tadjapas tadartha bhavanam tata pratyak chetana dhigamopyantaraya bhavascha Vyadhisthyana saunshaya pramada alasya avirati bhranti darshana alabdhi bhumi katva anavasthi tattvani chitta vikshepa stentaraya ha. Dukkha dharmanasya angame jayatva shwasa prashwasa vikshepa sahabhuva ha. Tat pratishedhartham ekatattva abhyasa ha. Once again. Tad japas tadartha bhavanam tata pratyak chetana dhigamopyantaraya bhavascha vyadhisthyana pramada alasya avirati bhranti darshana alabdha bhumi katva anavasthi tattvani chitta vikshepaha te antaraya ha. Dukkha Dharmanasya Angami Jayatva Shwasa Prashwasa Vikshepa Sahabhuvaha Tat Pratishedhartham Ekatatva Abhyasaha Oh. Now, let us go to the meaning. Sutra 28. Oops, sorry. Hmm? What is happening? <clears throat> tat japaha tat artha bhavanam. Tat means that. It's a pronoun. Japaha. There is no exact word in English. The closest we can say is repeated chanting. Tat, its artha meaning, bhavanam, what comes out to dwell upon the meaning which comes out. So, this sutra means that the syllable om, which was discussed in the previous sutra, 
Tasya Vachakaha Pranavaha. That sutra is now being referred to that the syllable boom should be chanted repeatedly. You should do the japa of that sutra. How? Not just mechanically chanting om, 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 looking left, right, up, down, looking at my mobile, thinking of this, that. Day. No. Better don't do it. If you have to do, do it in this manner. It, you should do the chanting repeatedly while mentally dwelling upon its meaning. You have to let the mind come on that and not, you see, not thinking about the meaning. Be careful. It is not thinking about the meaning, but dwelling upon it. So, Om, Om, Om. When you do that, you, you keep on thinking. You are listening to the word. What is the effect which is having? What does it mean to you? Something comes up. Something, nothing comes up. Just a, there is a feeling. Just listening to the sound. Whatever is happening, you are dwelling upon that experience continuously. So you are involved in yourself. You are chanting. You are not looking outwards. You are looking inwards. That is how the japa should be done. So this week, Maharshi Patanjali starts explaining the next aspect. Till this previous time, he has given different options how to reach. But most of those options were difficult. Therefore, he brought about, brought out one simpler and profound option. Ishwara Pranidhan. And how do we go about doing it? He's being told just now. And then in this week further, he will discuss the nitty gritties, the practical aspects of the sadhana which he is speaking about. For today, let us conclude here. Please sit in any meditative posture for Shanti part. Eyes gently closed, hands on your knees in Jnana or Chen Mudra. Awareness back to the eyebrow center. Install the same image which you had chosen in the beginning of the session. Connect to this image, to this experience. And Maintaining your awareness on this experience, we shall chant the mantra Om three times, followed by the Shanti part. Taking in a deep breath. Oh. Oh. Asato ma sadgamaya, Tamaso ma jyotir gamaya, Mrityor ma mrutam gamaya, Sarvesham swasti bhavatu, Sarvesham shantir bhavatu, Sarvesham purnam bhavatu, Sarvesham mangalam bhavatu, Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu Om trambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushti vardhanam purvarukam iva bandhanam mrityor mukshiyam amrutat Om shanti 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 hi And Sintranam Mudra Twameva mata chapita twameva twameva bandhus chasaka twameva 
Keeping your eyes closed gently, set up the palms once again. Place the palms on the closed eyes. Experience the warmth radiating from the palms. Relaxing the eyes. Relaxing the brain. Relaxing the whole body. And then gently move the palms away. Open your eyes. Hari Om, Tat Sat, Namo Narayan, Jai Bhav.